Hello model car fans, welcome back to the final reveal of Iceman Collections Legend of Lowbrow. This was a really fun kit. Um, I, I just had, had a blast with it. You know, I like the TV and movie cars. So, if we're going to have the Flintstones, we got to have Dino. So, uh, here's some ideas I was kicking around as I was assembling the model, how to do a diorama on it. And we'll go into more detail on that later in the video. But let's go ahead and get into the build itself. Here I'm uh, painting up the different pieces. You know, I have my little uh, toy dinosaur that's been kicking around the house since my children were little. And even uh, the the dog chewed on it. So our, our little dog had his way with uh, what I'm going to be using for Dino. Here's the arms and the legs for the kit. I'm just uh, going through, painting them up. Yeah, you know, I've already got uh, the body paint or the outfit paint on Fred and his face and his beard area. You know, and everything's coming along good. I went ahead and dry brushed the, what appears to be bone for the frame rails of the car. And here's the iron cross on the canopy. Very delicate. I'll have to say they did a wonderful job, you know, uh, uh, putting this model kit together. It's almost like fabric. It's so, so thin. But here's uh, just the, that piece kind of in place so you get an idea of it. You know, Fred's kind of hanging out with his arm, you know, to the side there. And here I mix up some paint. In the first season of the Flintstones, Dino was kind of a pink color, and then he went to a more purple in the later seasons. So I figured, yeah, we'll go ahead and start this uh, from the beginning, at least from my vision on it. Went ahead and just kept dry brushing, you know, a little bit here and there on the wheels. I got Dino, he's getting ready to ride shotgun or the front seat with Fred. Yeah, because Wilma has her position, you know, uh, seductively in the rear of the vehicle. So here I'm working on the base and my diorama uh, portion of the, the figure. Or the kit, I mean, not figure. Um, I went ahead and, you know, added some uh, uh, accents to it. You know, uh, I had a laugh at school my son's uh my youngest son's friend put a rock in his backpack and i said yeah and we kind of laughed about it he goes yeah he just wanted me to have it and i think it was more to carry the extra weight but i was like can i have that rock and i it was just the perfect addition yeah so i wrote on it with a sharpie marker So I've gone ahead and glued uh, Dino in place, Wilma's in place, and everything's uh, just about finished up here. Yeah, you know, I tried uh, different painting techniques, you know, to give it a little realism. You know, again, I, I did the dry brushing, and I added some blue, you know, uh, that was in the artwork uh, for this kit, you know, to the stone on the, uh, the tires. You know, and it gives it a little extra pop. I did Wilma's dress in white, and then I went over it with a pearl white and a dry brush technique. You know, kind of give it a little shimmer. You know, she's got the shimmer going on, but we'll give the dress a little shimmer also. <laughs> I went ahead and I figured the lid needed a little bit of a background uh, to it. So I went ahead and I found this picture online, so I hope whoever... Uh, drew it doesn't mind me using it but I cut it out and just glued it to the inside of the uh, display case and it had a little bit of dimension and uh, point of view for uh, or perspective uh, point of view and I just thought it's nice to have the buildings in the background with the pterodactyls flying around the cranes and the dinosaurs uh, working and building and having Fred's garage open and it looks like he's pulling out and Wilma's trying to entice him to stay home so uh, yeah I just thought it was a pretty neat touch for the kit 
So again, hats off to Iceman Collections for putting together such a great kit. And forgive me because I forget the artist who drew the lowbrow, the origin of lowbrow picture. But his artwork was spot on and made it for a wonderful kit and a fun build. Thank you for watching. This is Stephen. Have a safe and blessed day and we'll see you on the next video. Take care and God bless you.